So finally, we are at the, the point where we are going to start talking about the different type of charts we have available for us in uh, Coboxel Analyzer. Uh, it is an um, interesting uh, choice, yeah, and especially choice is the most interesting, sorry. Uh, unique, I don't use it that much. I'm not too fan of, of uh, Donut or Circle charts. So mainly I use... Uh, these bars and um, it's a uh, quite a straightforward that's why I recommended it to, to use this type of uh, analysis for things that you do one or twice because you can generate a lot of charts very quickly and they all look the same they all look nice um, we can I'm gonna try for example this uh, this uh, uh, maybe see like the state of the superstructure uh, so a contamination outside of the latrines, for example, uh, no waste, waste. So very straightforward. You can have, uh, you can have um, uh, your answer, your quest, your question answer. So is the superstructure of my latrines okay? Most of them, yes. Some of them not. And then you can use the disgregation to further ask, like, tell me by camp, Tatsuka, very good, Chikunkwa, okay, and Mpamba. Here I have already detected something that in Mpamba, half of the latrines, we have four latrines, so two and two, they, they are, two of them are in bad state, so maybe I can send my team and, and, and get, them, uh, get them repaired. Uh, as, we, as we said, we could uh, remove here some of the, of the codes, but this is as simple as it gets. Just like this, you have one plot, you have the other one, you could copy paste it into your report. As, a, as an image, we'll go to, through that later on. Uh, you can also analyze, this is a single select. You could analyze something that is multiple select. Because here, as you see, it goes 94 plus 6 plus 0 plus 0 is 100. If you have multiple select, which maybe is not the case of, uh, of this uh, formula, you would have probably more or less than 100%. Mm, however, this is the way to analyze for categorical, so categories, good, bad questions. You can also analyze here uh, numeric questions. So adults, how many adults use each of the latrines? So from 0 to 10 is 26% of the latrines. From 10 to 30 is, is uh, another 30. And as you can see here, not everybody answered because we have 33 answers and not everybody answered this question. So that's why we don't arrive to, to the 100%. That's my assumption. I should have, I we would have to go through the data to verify. And then it's where the number grouping comes handy. You can have different groups as described in the configuration tab here. You can have more. So you could have select from 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, or you could even have uh, like this one or this one. You can choose the one that you think is best for you. And if not, you can also create a lot of other uh, models for your grouping. This is basically what you can do with, uh, with this tab. Choice is quite powerful. It's quite quick and, and you don't need a lot of... Uh, a lot of hassle just to get your your plots ready to be copy pasted into your report in unique is the same is very similar but here you have only one question so it's a single select uh or numbers as well sorry so you can have also like from zero to ten you can have the number groupings here and does the platform wobble a little no then by village or by camp, you can again disaggregate by whatever you want. So that's the platform wobbles in the latrines with no waste. Maybe a little, this a little bit, this one, no. So um, it's pretty, pretty much the same. I don't like pie charts. I, I just have to say that I, I always prefer charts like this that go always to 100%, from zero to 100, and then it's more straightforward for me to see. Now, we also have value, where here we can analyze uh, other other type of questions, so especially you, I would use this for numbers, but you can also 
do it for 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 categorical so for camps you can select what camp and and you can select like uh, contamination outside the latrine and it will give you like a number 29 4 1 but usually i would just use it for things like number of liters that you are procuring of water per per camp and then it will give you like numbers in this one maybe it's not the best uh choice because we only have uh i'm sorry like adult male numerical function and then by camp okay so here we have like in a, how many adults male we have by camp and this is where we are calculating the average so average of everything is uh, 7.5 and then it's atsuka we have 20 in this other one we have say, 11 then we have six then we have three then we have four and then all of these are empty because we have not collected any information in these camps yet probably so this is where you now we have the, the 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 value checked we have we can have the median as i said before it doesn't have to be the same and in this case is very very much a difference the minimum three eight eight six uh, and the maximum 30 20 4 16. again usually i prefer to have the average you can go ahead here and click by other thing type of uh, loc by location for example if you want so you can have the twins in the village and in the camp and they may have different distributions which they do for example here in Mpamba uh, it's it's different um, I forgot to mention that here you said Satsuka and Kango but here you have only numbers in these small plots because there wouldn't be a space to type everything so you just have uh, these numbers you can include or exclude zeros in the calculations and you can also exclude the negatives so apparently here it changed a lot when we excluded the zeros you see although zero it's it's a number it's not that this empty data so i wouldn't exclude them from from this count because if it's zero it means that there is nobody then uh, for the, i'm going to go very quickly through rank score and compare rank score and compare i have to say i don't use them all that often i'm not that versed with them most of my calculation i do it straight away with uh, with uh, with unique uh, with choice and value mainly rank score and compare you need to set up your form in a particular way i will send you the link in uh, of how to how to set it up because there is a website called mobile data collection toolkit done by uh, mobile data collection toolkit yeah and it's done by terre des hommes and carton -NG. and they give you very good information both in french and english on how to do this and they have uh, if you go into into their into their website they have a tutorial it's not video but it's more about reading but you can have uh, analyze your data and go to uh, analyze your data with Kobo offline analyzer and then you will have here uh, how to use this uh, this uh, this data I will put the link in the video so basically rank and score you have to be messing up with this uh, with this suffix here I'm not going to talk in this video perhaps I will do another one another time because it's uh, it's more complicated and I don't want to overwhelm in this initial one mm, and I don't use them that much myself either last thing I have to talk about is how would we get all these charts into our report you can just this is a normal excel chart you can just copy and then what i would do is just i would go to my report and i would put it here and, and probably for me the way it works best is paste as a picture right and if you want the 
and you will have here you can add then your captions or whatever you feel and if i want to copy all of this six extra i control i i sorry i click i click i, I hold control and click 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 so i have them all selected i let control i right click and i copy and then you can go here and right click paste as picture and they all come as a as a as a single picture right so it's as simple as this one if you just paste it normal right click and, and paste then they are like charts and sometimes when you change them in here they are linked so now it's not a little and you, if you see all of these charts have changed in my in my in my report and you don't want that you want these ones to be shown so you copy paste them as a picture and they don't change anymore okay this is it another thing that you can do is that this being a, a, pl a, a, a normal plot from excel you can change the color of it you can use your the colors of your organization like this one is for mine but this takes a little bit of time so maybe not everyone is going to do it but you can also customize them as you want so here you can have different elements you could have chart titles but then you have to change them all the time you could have the data labels on it but you have them already on top so it's a little bit not so neat you could you could get the legend but it's not so needed and the grid lines you can remove them have them or not so it's just like a normal excel chart then you can have predefined styles if you like it like this or like this i like the normal one because it's like it's very beautiful and nice